Hello friends! Welcome to Storytime with the Met! My name is Christina and I'm so excited to see all of you today. We're gathering every Thursday at noon for a story and an activity. So find a cozy spot and let's get started! We'll begin today with our story time song. If you don't know it, it goes to the tune of This Old Man. So can we sing it together? Let's begin on the count of three. One, two, three. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time with the Met, where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We'll use our eyes to look and see. We'll use our ears to hear stories. Now we'll take a seat and give a shh. Let's begin with our first book. Thank you so much for singing along with me. So our book for today is called Mommy's Kimar. It's written by Jamila Tompkins Bigelow with illustrations by Ebony Glenn. I'll read the words, but I'm going to need your help looking at the pictures, okay? A kimar is a flowing scarf that my mommy wears. Before she walks out the door each day, she wraps one around her head. In mommy's closet, there are so many kimars, so many that I can't count them. Black ones, white ones, purple, blue and red, stripes, patterns, and polka dots too. And what patterns do you see our main character wearing as well? I'm seeing some, some flowers and some polka dots. Some have tassels, some have beads, some have sparkly things all over. And she has my favorite color, yellow. What's your favorite color? When I put on mommy's kimar, I become a queen with a golden train. Under the kimar, my braids and twists form a bumpy crown. It's not easy to cover the many plates mommy puts in my hair. When I wear mommy's kimar, I shine like the sun. I dive and become a shooting star into a pile of clouds. Of course, I make sure that mommy doesn't see me. When I wear mommy's kimar, I am a mama bird. I spread my golden wings and shield my baby brother as he sleeps in his nest. Can we spread our golden wings? What does it feel like to spread our wings? Mommy shakes her head, but her eyes are smiling. When I wear mommy's kimar, I am a superhero in a cape, dashing from room to room at the speed of light. Do you ever feel like a superhero? When do you feel like a superhero? Daddy snatches me up and I fly. Mommy can't stop laughing when his bristly beard tickles my cheek with a kiss. When I wear mommy's kimar, mommy is with me even when she's away. I close my eyes and if I breathe in deeply, really deeply, I smell the coconut oil in mommy's hair and the cocoa butter on her skin. And if I breathe in even more deeply than that, I smell the cinnamon in her favorite dessert. She always shares a piece. Do you have a favorite dessert? What do you like to eat? 
when I wear mommy's Kimar and my mom visits after Sunday service, she sings out sweet Jesus and calls me sunshine. My mom doesn't wear a Kimar. She doesn't go to the mosque like mommy and daddy do. We are a family and we love each other just the same. When I go to the mosque wearing mommy's Kimar, the older women who Assalamu alaikum, little sis. Mommy smiles so proud. My Arabic teacher exclaims, beautiful, beautiful hijab. Hijab is the word she uses for kimar. Sometimes I say hijab too. When I wear mommy's kimar and we go home and it starts to get dark outside, mommy tells me gently, take it off. It's time for sleep. She removes the kimar from her head and I remove mine. We hang them up for the night. What do you do when you get ready for bed? How do you get ready? How do you prepare? I look around at all the Kimars, too many to count. Let's look some up at some of these colors again that we saw. Here I see blue and green and purple. And I stroke the yellow scarf one last time. I close my eyes and breathe in deeply, really deeply. And if I breathe in deeply enough, I can take mommy's Kimar with me. I place it inside my head. I take other things and place them there too. A crown with a train, the sun and the shooting star, a baby dozing on a golden wing. I take a ticklish kiss in the sky, coconut and cocoa with the cinnamon sweet and the prayers of gray-haired women. I take all these things with me and go to sleep. Though mommy is away, it feels like she comes too. What do you think about when you're going to sleep? The end. Thank you so much for reading along with me. I hope you enjoyed that story. Thinking about all of the amazing ways that the character in this book expresses herself and how comfortable and happy and powerful she, she feels when she wears her kimar got me thinking about what do I wear when I wanna feel happy or powerful or safe? What do I do? What activities do I do to do that? So thinking of that made me wonder about this object in the Mets collection, These pair, this pair of shoes. I imagine that if I put these shoes on that I would feel very happy. I'd feel very beautiful walking around and I'd also feel very comfortable. I could slip in and out and do activities. What about you? What do you think? When you look at these shoes, what do you notice? What kind of activities do you think you would like to do if you could put these shoes on? What would it feel like to stick your feet inside the shoes? As you're thinking about it, I do have an activity we can try that will help us think about the uh, items that we wear to help us feel happy. So what you'll want to find is some collage materials. You recommend, I recommend um, finding a scissors or you can tear. You might need some paper, um, colorful paper if you have it, otherwise magazines or newspapers or anything you can find. Um, and you'll want a glue stick uh, or some glue of some kind. As you go through the materials, figure out what are the materials, what are the colors that stand out to you? What would you want to put on your body? And you can design your own outfit. So. I created an outfit for myself based on papers that I could find. I cut them out and I used a glue stick to put them in the order I wanted to wear them. First, 
I found a material for a shirt that I thought would be really lightweight and comfortable when it's warm out. Then I found a vibrant, fun print for my pants, which I thought would make me feel really happy to see the flowers and the yellow. And then finally, I ended by putting on some shiny shoes and jewelry to make me feel happy as well. So what about you? What is your outfit that you want to wear? Thank you so much for joining me for story time today. We hope to see you soon.